Hey you guys, hey you guys, it's your girl Bree. I come with a quick little message for you. My message to you guys is knowing your worth is not entertaining, um, embracing anything or anybody who does not know your worth. You understand what I'm saying? Knowing your worth will not, you will not entertain or embrace anybody who does not know your worth at all. Knowing your worth will keep you out of certain circumstances, situations, and keep you away from certain people. See, because when you know who you are and you know where you're going and you know where you come from, you're not going to put yourself back in the same environment to get you to react and do things the way you this the same way that you used to do. See, a lot of y'all, God has redeemed y'all. And so now a lot of y'all know y'all worth and y'all know that y'all are worthy more than the company you keep, more than the job that you are, more than the house that you live in. It's not making you feel like it, it's not pumping you up to make you feel like you're better than somebody but you know your worth and when you know your worth you move how your worth is you understand what i'm saying you move you ain't gotta be all flashy and all that you know what you worth you understand what i'm saying so you walk with that worth you talk with that worth a lot of y'all Know that you're worth more, but you're still keeping yourself stuck and stagnant down and below. When you need to rise, take your right for stand. Get in your right for position. God has called you to take a stand. Take your stand. Do not let these people, these circumstances, your past, your background, your family, whoever, whatever it is. Do not allow these people to keep you stuck and stagnant. Don't allow yourself to keep you stuck when you know your worth. You know you're worthy. You know you're greater than. You know you're better than the circumstances and situation that you got yourself in. Take a time and look in the mirror. Do some self-evaluation within yourself and tell yourself. So it's okay to minister to yourself. It's okay to tell yourself, you know, listen, self, like we out here. We out here looking stupid. You out here looking crazy. You out here stressing. You out here doing what? When God has told you, he has the power in his hand to make any situation better. Get it together. We are all on borrowed time, y'all. I We are really on borrowed time. People are dying like flies. I'm talking about from stray bullets. People are losing their life. People just sitting in their house and they getting killed. People driving and they call somebody shooting them and they getting killed. We are all on borrowed, borrowed times. Know your worth so you can walk in your worth. Know who you are are except who you are that's the biggest rule of the day except who you are who you really truly are not who your mama wants you to be not who your daddy wants you to be not who your husband wants you to be your wife your children your pastor except who you are and stand on who you are stop trying to please everybody because you can't only person you need to be worried about pleasing is the lord the one who wake you up in the morning and clothe you in your right mind your family doesn't want you to be uh prosperous. Your family doesn't want you to grow. And I ain't talking about all of y'all family. Only you know what you've been through with your family. Only you know what you've been through with your church members. Only you know what you've been through on your job. These people don't want to see you get ahead. That's why they keep trying to knock you down. You're not down. Don't let nobody make you feel like you're small because you're not small and you're not down. You are a giant. Stand and take your right for stand. Don't allow these people to get to you. Don't allow these people to try to dictate who you are. God has told you who you are. Walk in your authority. Walk in your power. Walk in what God has told you. It's your girl, Bree. I love you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.